talk about nostalgia lane tonight. <laughs> My gosh, over Washington, Lawrence Welk. You, would you believe out there in, in the viewing audience that the McGuire sisters are about my age? Look how old I look compared to how old they look. And I am really in depression here. I tell you, that's, that was my era. Those are the people that I identified with. Holy cow. It, uh, it's been a great show here this evening. Uh, if, if you like Jukebox uh, Saturday night, why don't you give us a call? If you're in the, in the 50s generation and you remember that you were a teenager in those days or in, in your middle 20s, why don't you give us a call? You remember the people we're talking about tonight, Patty Page, the McGuire sisters. These are people that I'm sure the people in, the, in, in our studio tonight don't even know who we're talking about. You know, we had good entertainment in the 50s, not this stuff that's run around today. Is that right? That's right. Is that right? That's, that's, what, right. that's exactly right. And speaking of uh, fun times, we had a wonderful pledge break over Washington. Again, the last reminder in over Washington, if you have it in your copy, you'd like to get a copy of that, Send in, make your pledge, kill, kill two things with one stone. Make sure that you're basically getting your over Washington tape, which is showing here on the screen, and that you pledge to KYV and support the kind of programs that you're seeing here on Saturday Night Jukebox Live tonight. And now Barbara would like to tell you a few thanks to the people that did call in, and it's a slug of people. We have a thank you to B.W. Lentz from Yakima. Gary Zimmer, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Gary Zimmerman called in all the way from Wenatchee. Dick Hansen from Zilla. Mr. and Mrs. Harry Hurlbert from Zilla. Dean, that's your Gary hand. Gary right? McLaren. Okay, from Yakima. Hi, Gary. Thank you, Thanks. Gary. Gene Anderson from Yakima. Ed Goshen, uh, who called in a pledge and is going to be taking a, an over Washington tape back home to Colorado with him. George and Betty Everson, e Everson. Everson from Ellensburg. Bill and Dora Bogue, Bogue. from Prosser. Uh, Joyce Whitney from Grandview. Frank Sanderson from Zilla. Ed Gonsorowski from Yakima. Virgil Foster from Prosser. An anonymous uh, pledge from Sunnyside. Blaine Folk from Yakima. Hester wow. Terrell from Sunnyside. David to Chotty from Yakima. David, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. An anonymous uh, pledge from Zilla. Claude Everly from Ellensburg. Elizabeth Griffith from Yakima. Roger and Jane wow. Fitch from Wapato. Mrs. Todd Smith from Yakima. Lillian Butler from Yakima. What, oh, you guys are yeah, super. What can we say? We, we just have to say thank you so much to the people that pledged. And if again, if you're liking Saturday, jukebox. Uh, if you like what you're seeing here, if the kind of music you like, why don't you give us a call? Even if you made a pledge, give us a call and tell us that it's a good program. If you like to see that kind of programming going on. And now, we need to get to our friends from KIT, yeah. the dynamic duo, Batman and Ro I mean, excuse me, <laughs> Gwen and Brian. Hi. Okay, now here's the deal, Gwen. I'm trying to figure here's out... Whether Dean insulted us a couple of minutes ago or not. You know, not. I think he did. And I actually, think so. I'll be nice, though, and, and won't rub in the fact that I don't know very many of the talented artists on Jukebox Saturday Night. However, Dean knows could them it, very could well. Could it be that we but, weren't born yeah. yet? Is, is that right? I think it could be. <laughs> but okay, do you think we've needled him enough? I think now? we've needled him enough. Okay, it's time to needle the viewers. <laughs> get to those that's right. songs. If you like the program, uh, Jukebox Saturday Night, get on the phone and pledge. 457 mm -hmm. 3100 at 1-800-345-KYVE. If you're out of the Yakima area, uh, it's great, KIT, or uh, pardon me, KYVE's nickel, if you live outside of uh, the Yakima area. Go on, co call, tone, phone, toll free. I talk for a living, I really do. <laughs> I speak for a living. I still do well, it on television that often. Mm -hmm. You heard that KIT stuff in there. Thanks a lot for paying for our phone call. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we heard that KIT well, commercial. Well, you know, we do underwrite a couple of programs. That's right. Yeah, we do underwrite a couple of programs. Wonder Works. So, uh, yes, it's, it's, we're from KIT, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so give us a call, 457-3100, 1-800-345-KYV. Get on the phone, make your pledge. Uh, maybe you'd like one of the Washington tapes or the Washington book, or uh, you'd just like to... Uh, get the focus every month mm -hmm. give us a call and pledge and see great programming you've seen great programming through the years my favorites masterpiece theater 
mm -hmm. Nova, uh, Cosmos a few years ago. If you think back to all the programs that you've enjoyed through the years and want to keep seeing those programs in the future, it's up to you. So give us a call and pledge right now. 457-3100, 1-800-345-KYVE. That's right, and thanks to everybody. This last break has been great. So all it takes, Brian, is just a phone call. You don't have, to, right. you don't have to say it exactly right. That's right. You just have to get on the phone and say, I would like to support the program that makes, makes it happen for me. When I watch KYVE, it's not only entertaining but very educational. And if I had children, I know that that's what they would be watching, from Wonderworks on up to the programs you mentioned. My favorite, probably of all time, Masterpiece Theater. This is this is going back mm -hmm. 10 years or so. Uh, I, Claudius. I followed that doggone thing for all 13 weeks. Mm -hmm. It was repeated. I watched the repeats. Got up to the last episode, fell asleep on it. <laughs> it's kind of like 13 weeks were gone, but it was great programming. Absolutely. It's worth it, very much. KYVE is, is the station that uh, offers so much, so just all you have to do is offer some of what you have. That's right. It's TV worth watching. Mm -hmm. So get on the phone and pledge. 457-3100, 1-800-345-KYVE if you're out of the Yakima area. You know, uh, Brian, we just had a call. And this is a true story. A man just called in and wanted to know if your seeing eye dog is still around to help you buy that shirt. <laughs> and, uh, and, and more than that, you more know, than that. I could say something embarrassing, but my wife is here. <laughs> I'm and more than that. that, he offered to pay money for that shirt. Could we get a high bid for that shirt on TV tonight? And I don't have one to wear home, Dean. I'm sorry. <laughs> and your wife has excellent taste. Thank you. <laughs> your wife, now, now, this is color. This is beautiful color broadcasting. We should get a picture of her because she's a bright red <laughs> sitting back there right now. That's right. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry Farnsworth oh, is uh, one of my old teachers. There's and, Wendy T. There she yeah. is. <laughs> right. Jerry, <laughs> Jerry, hi, how you If you, you like doing? that shirt, Coach, call in. Nice to hear from you. Gosh, Four, tell five, us what seven, you think. 3100, that's right. And let's give Dean another... Uh, it's well, got to be worth the red suspenders, right? right. You know? <laughs> I won't rub in the fact that Dean... You, re you really grew up with these people, didn't you? I sure did. You're being polite saying I'm Dean's being... old. I am. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I enjoy them just as much as, as he does, as, as well as all of us. And so it's important that you let us know that. 457 <laughs> You know, still still cracking over, 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 still your shirt. over my shirt. I like this. I like this shirt. I really do. I'm going to keep this shirt. This is a great shirt. It, it is. <laughs> so you won't be seen on the street. Ah, uh, yes. Well, if you like Brian's shirt, call in now. Four five seven thirty one. That's right. We won't give you the shirt off the back type deal, but you know, we'll give you uh, great programs. You know, right. one, one problem, you know, was just this is the first time this whole evening, those phones are quiet. Uh, we, we need you to go to those, uh -huh. hey, there's a good one. We need you to go to those phones and make this pledge. The, the miracle of public television is that we can sit here, give you the quality programming that you want, family entertainment, great shows like tonight, ask you to pledge and the miracle is that you actually go out and send dollars in to say it's worth it to me i use it and i have a responsibility we like what you're doing and we like what you've done with us tonight and now we have another request back to brian he'd like to show you what matches his shirt no, no, i was going to say you want to see a loud shirt <laughs> Ernie has a loud shirt on, okay? This now, this is, this is something you can this obtain for your yeah. kids through yeah. pledging. That's right. Something but that uh, I, know, I know you would love to have at home. We have several of these, actually. See? Yeah. But this is a loud shirt. This, <laughs> this. this is not a loud shirt. This is a loud shirt, okay? Brian, we will offer either one of those as a premium tonight. The They're showing my shirt. Ernie. I can't believe this. Oh, <laughs> The pants and the suspenders. For a 250 How about your competition radio people out there? Would you like to get in on this act and see what Brian's shirt can go with and maybe auction it off on one of the competitor radio stations, something like that? Be kind uh. of fun. <laughs> One of the things that we were talking about earlier, if, if you're a, a Doonesbury cartoon fan, uh, you've been uh, watching the, about the last five strips, Michael has suddenly discovered that he's becoming his parents. And the, the music that he likes, the Rolling Stones, the Eagles, the Beatles, are suddenly uh, turning up on National Public Radio. 
Um, I sometimes think that I've been working here too long because suddenly the music that I like is turning up on a jukebox Saturday night, and that's supposed to be uh, nostalgia. And speaking of jukebox Saturday night, we've had fun here, but we've got to go back to the program. Let's see what the second break brings us. Come on, stay tuned. You're going to enjoy the program. I'm waiting for Patty Page myself. Teresa Brewer. Teresa Brewer. Here we go, right back to the program. <laughs> 